Hi, I'm Christina Jacobs from Arsenal Handicraft, and I'm also a speedball demo artist. Today, I'm going to show you what you can create with a speed screens kit. Before we get started, let me show you what comes in the kit. There's a 9 inch squeegee, a lightproof bag with speed screens inside, an 8x10 wood frame, and a white cord to install the speed screen in the frame, black ink, an LED 30 watt lamp to expose screens, blank transparencies, and a black sheet of construction paper. Speed screens come in a light proof bag and you really don't want to open the bag until you're ready to expose your screens. So let's take a look at what's inside. There's a couple of clear plastic overlays. These will be laid on top of everything while you expose your screen. And then there's three speed screens inside and one side of each speed screen has a white carrier attached to it. We'll be removing this white carrier right before we expose the screen. So let's get some artwork ready to print. We're simplifying down this illustration so that it's only two colors, black and white. When you screen print, your artwork needs to be opaque black with no fuzzy edges, no gray areas, and very distinct hard lines. We're going to be printing onto dark paper. So the moon, the mountains, and the ground need to be black on our transparency. Those are the areas of the screen that we'll need to wash out so that the ink can pass through them and lay down on the paper. If you need to find some artwork to screen print, there are plenty of royalty-free sites out there where you can source some artwork. Here are some tips on what to look for and what to avoid. This image of a tree, for example, would be really difficult to work with. It has fuzzy edges and it has multiple colors. So let's keep looking. This image of a tree would be perfect for screen printing. It's solid opaque black, and if we zoom in on the details, you can see that the edges are hard and distinct with no fuzziness. When working with speed screens, there's a unique part of the process, and that is mirroring your artwork. You actually have to flip it horizontally in order for it to expose correctly. Once our moon is facing the right way, we'll print it onto a clear transparency using an inkjet printer. With the LED lamp that comes in the kit, exposing screens only takes one minute, so you can just hold the lamp in your hand or you can hang it over where you'll be working. We're in our basement studio, away from windows or any other strong light source that could interfere with exposure. Underneath the lamp, we'll place the black piece of construction paper, the speedy screen with the exposure side up, the transparency with the print side up, and then finally, the clear plastic overlay. After one minute of exposure time, the screen is ready to wash out. Wash out takes just a few minutes under warmer hot water. A couple of things to keep in mind, try and keep the screen vertical so that water doesn't pool on it. You also don't want to agitate it with your fingers, the muslin is pretty soft. And finally, only spray the water through the exposure side. You don't need to flip it around and spray through the back as well. After the artwork is completely washed out of the screen, we'll pat it dry really gently on paper towel and then lay it down on the white carrier that was attached to the screen when it came in the bag. Next, we'll post expose the screen. This gives it rigidity and durability so that it can be used over and over again. We're going to put it back under our light source for the same amount of time that we exposed it for in the first place, so in our case, it'll be one minute. We're ready to print. We'll flip our screen over to the squeegee side and tape it down onto our printing table. Speed screens can also be installed into the wood frame that comes with the kit. Using a screwdriver and starting in one corner, slowly press the white cord that comes with the kit all the way around the frame into the groove until the screen is tight inside the frame. Since our artwork is a night scene, we've chosen a metallic silver ink that will lay down really nicely on a dark navy blue paper. So that's it! Hope you enjoyed this demo of what you can make with a speed screens kit!